Hey what's up everybody, it's Styles with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to compare the 5 best file browser apps for Android. Now there are definitely more than 5 file browser apps on the Play Store, but the 5 I'll be reviewing today are the ones you'll see recommended time and time again. The contenders here are ES, FX, Root Explorer, Sliding Explorer, and Solid Explorer. They each had their strengths and weaknesses, so it's really up to you to determine which file explorer suits your particular needs the best. For instance, if the only thing you're concerned with is features and more features, then ES File Explorer is probably the file browser for you. This thing packs in the functionality like no other. Basically every network and cloud storage type is supported, you can natively open zips, RARs, and media files, and you can even manage files over Bluetooth. Then there's a fully customizable gesture button in the center of the screen that reminds me of ThinkPad's track point, but that's not even the whole story. ES also includes a web browser with links to Google News, Facebook, and a few others. You know, for those times when you want to check for social media updates while you're managing files on your device. But I'm sure you can see the downside here. All these features make for a pretty cluttered interface, so ES is less about form and more about functionality. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum is Sliding Explorer. This should be your go-to if your main interest is ease of use. It's up to date with Android's latest design guidelines, so you've got a consistent material design interface to match your other apps. But this file explorer is mainly intended for simple operations like copying and deleting local files. It can extract and create zip files, but that's about the extent of its extra features. Nonetheless, the interface is extremely intuitive, so if you're only looking to manage your local files, Sliding Explorer is a great option. Next up we have Root Explorer. The free version of this app is simply called Explorer because it's lacking the root features. Beyond that though, you get the full suite of functionality without paying a dime. That means you can attach network and cloud drives, create and extract zip, RAR, and tar files, and even edit SQLite database files. By default, the interface is pretty basic looking, but it's easy to spruce up, and it's one of the most fluid experiences out of all five of these apps. When you attach a cloud or network drive, it shows up as an extra tab. And just like any other tab, you can copy files, then swipe between open folders to paste them where they need to go. If you're a rooted user and you like the experience on the free Explorer app, the paid Root Explorer app gets you all of these features and the ability to manage your system partitions. After that we have FX File Explorer. If you're looking for a great blend of form and functionality, this might be the file browser for you. It's one of the two entries in this list that uses material design, so it's up to date on Android's latest interface standards. That's supplemented with a nice swipe to select feature, and the side navigation menu lets you switch between open folders. When it comes to functionality, FX is definitely no slouch. It can handle almost any file type with native viewers and editors. If you're looking to attach cloud accounts or network storage drives, you'll have to purchase the Pro version, but beyond that, FX definitely ticks a lot of boxes. Finally, we have Solid Explorer. Like FX, it has a nice blend of features and looks, but it's only available for free in the form of a 14-day trial. But you get all of the functionality you could want. For instance, Solid Explorer can extract and create zips, RAR, and tar files, and there's a text editor and image viewer. It supports a ton of cloud storage services and almost any network share format. Like Root Explorer, you can swipe between open folders with a side-to-side -side gesture, and you can even drag and drop files like you could with a desktop explorer. After the 14 day trial is over, you'll have to purchase the full version, but that should be plenty of time to test out all of the features Solid Explorer has to offer. So really, each of these apps has a different set of pros and cons, and it's mainly about figuring out which one fits you the best. But I actually went into more detail over at the full article, so if you'd like to see all the specs for each of these file browsers, be sure to check that out over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.